How's Germany preparing to survive the upcoming winter? How is the upcoming winter different from the previous ones? How bad is it going to be? And what preparations are the government and the people making to get through the next winter? These and many more things are up to discussion in today's video. Before we start, the question to you guys. Are you worried about the upcoming winter? How is the energy supply situation where you live? Which measures are you taking to be prepared for the winter? Let me know in the comments below. If you are new to the channel, welcome everyone. My name is Mark and I am in Chengdu city. Almost empty streets here in Chengdu city because of a new lockdown. More than 600 cases in five days. 40,000 people in centralized quarantine. This is the current situation in Chengdu city. This might be the most serious COVID wave that we had at all times. Now, many places are under lockdown, but this time, luckily, the area, the district that I live in has not been affected that bad. Even though most entertainment venues and places are closed and you cannot do much, but at least we can just normally leave our house, go for a walk, exercise, buy groceries and so on. Now the energy prices in Germany and in whole Europe are rising extremely quickly. Oil, natural gas, electricity, Almost everything has risen quickly in price recently. More than two, three, even four times the price than, let's say, last year or two years ago. Now, I'm sure most of you guys will know the reasons for this development. There are actually quite a lot. It's still some kind of effect from the COVID pandemic. There's inflation going on in the whole world right now. And also the conflict between Russia and Ukraine has played a big part in that. Now, with these rising prices, a lot of people in Germany, especially from the middle class, are actually quite worried what the next winter will bring for them. How are they going to live? How are they going to survive the next winter? Because on the one hand, the prices are super high. You can actually not afford to use too much gas or an oil or electricity. But on the other hand, winter in Germany is cold, man. The people have to use electricity to warm their houses and just basically to continue living. Now, first of all, this is another nice thing about living here in China. The electricity, natural gas, oil prices here are actually quite moderate, even though they have also risen in the past months but still, they are at a very affordable level. To be honest, this is also one of the things that keeps foreigners who are still here in China, despite all the other things that are happening from leaving China right now. Because everybody knows China has its own problems, but also Western countries, including Germany, have their own problems. Wow, this guy whipping that thing. It's kind of a sport here in China. Very interesting. And some more party going on behind me. <laughs> That's the park life here in China. Anyways, people in Germany and in Europe, all they can do right now is to get ready and to prepare as well as they can for the coming winter. But how do they do that? there's actually not so much that you can do against the high prices. So the German government and the people are actually working in two directions. Number one is to stock up on natural resources for the winter. That accounts for, well, electricity, not so much, but for oil and for natural gas reserves. People are just buying oil and natural gas right now, wherever they can get it, basically. <laughs> that means 
even for really high prices. But you have to have this in stock because if you run out during the winter, it's going to be either even more expensive to get to these resources or you won't even find them at all. Little river there. Ah, what a beautiful little park. <laughs> Guys fishing here more or less illegally. Now the second direction obviously is to drive down the use of energy, the consumption of electricity, natural gas and oil. Now this is actually a tricky one because you might say how much can you actually save? What difference can it make? But recent data actually shows that just by trying to avoid wasting energy, just trying to get rid of all the unnecessary energy consumption sources, the German households or the, the whole country has already reduced the consumption of energy by a, quite a lot. Now public places are trying to cut energy consumption by just using less electricity, by just using less heaters, less air conditionings and so on. Kind of the same like what we saw here in Sichuan last week and the last couple of weeks. Now private households are actually doing quite a similar thing. Many households have started to buy these kind of energy saving, electricity saving devices that you can install in your home and they will just turn on when you need it and the rest of the time they'll be just turned off. That saves a lot of energy but also the people try to turn to alternative energy sources like wood, burning wood or coal or things like that. It has even sparked the discussion in a very very conservative country like Germany if we should return to nuclear energy. But in the same time there have also been a lot of ridiculous <laughs> attempts to save on some energy. Some of our experts and politicians said just don't shower or shower less or take cold showers. <laughs> like of course that's gonna save on some energy but it's just gonna make your life not really enjoyable. Anyways summarizingly you might say that there have been a lot of reasonable and not so reasonable approaches and ideas on how to solve the current energy crisis and how to get prepared for the upcoming winter. And what has been really interesting and even a little surprising for me is the creativity of how the German people and the government try to solve this problem. Usually if you have problems in Germany, oh, you're gonna start discussing, talking about it, having all kinds of different meetings and stuff like that. But you hardly ever get to a really fast, quick and efficient solution. Let's just hope that these ideas and these measures will be enough to get prepared for the winter. And let's hope the winter will not be as harsh, not be as bad as many people predicted. It's about time to come to this video's end. But before we do that, the question to you guys, do you have any creative, nice, helpful ideas how the European countries, especially Germany, can get through this energy crisis through this winter? And which measures are you planning to take in preparation for the coming winter? Let me know in the comments below. Now, I do hope that you found today's content interesting, that you enjoyed watching the video. If so, don't be shy, leave a like under my video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more interesting analysis from China, but also the rest of the world. For me, it's time to rush back home, enjoy my cup of coffee and then go for my next PCR test. <laughs> well, as always, I want to thank you for watching, for sticking out until the end and I really hope to see you in the next video. Some monument of Hakka culture here in Chengdu city.